Hey guys, welcome back. This is episode 69, and whether you've listened to the last couple episodes or skipped them, I'm happy to tell you that we are now about to begin the Urn of Sacred Ashes quest line, uh, which isn't super long, I don't think, but um, it's it's you know it's decent. It should be an episode or two, and uh, it's a lot of fun. I'd, I'd say at least two episodes. We'll see. All right, so let's venture forth. Um, all right, for this one, I definitely want Liliana. Indeed. And Alistair. Yes. We are going to find the urn of Andraste after all. Um, and one of the mages. I think Morgan might make this a little more interesting. Indeed. Um, a part of me really wants to take Morgan, Alistair, and Sten. For reasons I will say later, but. I think Liliana would appreciate this too much to leave her behind. Plus, we need to have a rogue, so... With that in mind... Let's go. There it is. The Village of Haven. A remote village nestled in the mountains. It is not even marked on most maps. And that's probably for the best. But Brother Janet TV went there, and that means we're going to be going there too. Because that is our only lead. Up, oh, and we're going to be intercepted probably by Old Tegrin. Let's see. Can't be too many encounters left. Yep. Good is. All right. Take two. And just to recap, uh, Arl Eamon is uh, deathly sick from the poison that Joan gave him a long time ago now. And comatose and uh, no conventional cures have succeeded. But according to all legends, um, eating the urn of sacred ashes, which is Andraste's ashes, prophetess of the Chantry religion and the one uh, Liliana told us about last episode, the pride of the maker himself. He said to cure any disease, so if anyone can cure him, or if anything can cure him that's what it is What are you doing in Haven? There's nothing for you here I have business here. No, you do not I would have been informed if someone was expecting a visitor the same voice actor as Logan. Um, is there a Brother Jan TV here? Who? Perhaps revered Father Irik will know of whom you speak. Unfortunately, he's ministering to the villagers at the moment and cannot be disturbed. Revered Father? Revered Father? Yeah. I've never heard of this. It's always been thus in Haven. We do not question tradition. Hmm. Interesting. Seems more like a Tevinter village than a Ferelden village, even though the Tevinter Imperium or what remains of it is now much farther to the north. Um, are your traditions very different from ours? Our ways are not the ways of the lowland cities. Have you heard of the Urn of Sacred Ashes? The Urn is nothing but a legend. Brother Genetivi's research suggests that it may be more. I do not know who Brother Genetivi is or what he says. However, I'm sure people can convince themselves of anything. Why do you have a revered father, priests or women? It's always been thus in Haven. We do not question tradition. You said that. I would like to explore Haven for a while. We do not appreciate lowlanders looking about our home as though it were some sort of zoo. I had some questions about Haven. Ask and be on your way. How long has Haven been here? Haven's always been here. My family knows no other home. Who's in charge? Father Eirik is our spiritual leader and guide. A revered father, huh? That's new. I wonder what this means. It's always been thus in Haven. Let we me do guess. not question tradition. <laughs> it's the third time you've mentioned that. All right, I'm going on. You may trade for supplies at the shop if you wish. Then I suggest you and your companions leave. Did it just get a lot colder, or is it just me? They are hiding something. Tis obvious, is it not? I've missed Alistair and Morgan. I have the chance to travel with them again. Alright, that's a house. Where's the store? Come, come, Bonnie Lynn. Tell us, tell us where you've been. Were you up, were you down? Chasing rabbits around the town. Come, come, Bonnie Lynn. Tell us, tell us where you've been. That's a little creepy. Who are you? You shouldn't be here. Where is everyone else? In the Chantry. Mother wanted me to go to the chant, but she doesn't get to tell me what to do anymore. 
I'm sick of listening to Father Eirik, along with the babies and the girls. Soon I'll be old enough to go up the mountain and... And what? Nothing. It's just nicer up there. You wouldn't understand. Lowlanders don't belong here. So I have gathered. Small fruit. The chest down there. What was that soup you made for supper last night? Oh, that? That's a traditional Ferelden lamb. As you like. And pea stew. Do you like it? Oh, so it was lamb then. It had a certain texture I don't normally associate with lamb. They didn't make lamb and pea stew for you in Lothering? We ate simply there. Whole grains made into biscuits or bread, and vegetables from the garden, cooked lightly. No heavy stews. Ah, so the last lamb you had was probably cooked or lesion style. Food shouldn't be frilly and pretentious like that. Now, here in Ferelden, we do things right. We take our ingredients, throw them in the largest pot we can find, and cook them for as long as possible until everything is a uniform grey colour. As soon as it looks completely bland and unappetizing, that's when I know it's done. You're having me on. Um, Death of a Templar. That's very long, so I'm not going to read it. <laughs> you need to eat in more Ferelden inns. Some farm animals. Despite the creepiness, it seems like a nice village. That lake is really cool. Where is the store, though? Is there more up here, maybe? I guess we can go in the house first while we're down here. Nobody home. On my way. One of those love letters. And unlike the uh, the scrolls of Bannister, you actually can tell which one is which by the beginnings of these. So that'll be okay. good if we have to backtrack and see which ones we missed. This altar appears to have been used recently. A pool of blood remains running over the sides in dark rivulets. I was not expecting to find something so unsettling. Used for food preparation, perhaps? Doubtful. Does meat bleed that much? I'm just trying to be optimistic. The other explanation is slightly more disturbing. That is human blood. How do you know that? I just do. I also know that no one can lose that much blood and live. Maybe it's not from the same person? Yep, something is strange in Haven for sure. What was the other thing we had? Premium content? Oh, Gone with Memories. Even though it's her special quest, it is still premium context. It's part of the Stone Prisoner DLC. Which is Shale, the quest where you find her, and this quest as well. That's a really fun one, too, but we'll do that uh, afterwards. Like I said, plenty more to do. Let's head up the hill here to the rest of Haven. Nice archway over there. Some more villagers. We have nothing you'd want. Please go. They're very welcoming, aren't they? The Avars. Who are the Avars? Uh, they're tribesmen. They're like the Chastened in a way. Hmm. Wonder if their descendants founded this village. This must be the store, because I see an icon on the map. Ooh. And a locket. Beautiful woman with jewels in her hair. The cameo is set in the front of a filigreed gold locket. Mage's eye, that's a nice longbow. And Antiven leather boots, aha! I know who would like that. Who are you? You're not from Haven. Why does everyone tell me what I don't already know? We As if I don't already don't know get it. Very many visitors. What can you tell me about Haven? How would you describe the place you know only as home? Have you seen a man called Brother Jan TV? No, I've never heard that name. This is the shop? I'd like to trade. I don't have much, but I suppose you can take a look. 
Alright, so he has a couple standard items. Pretty much. Mage Bane. That uh yeah, drains users of drains people hit by it with their man of their mana. There we go. Only works against spellcasters. Couple poison recipes, some traps. Andraste's arrows interrupt spellcasting. Alright, a couple things, but nothing super interesting. Anything we should sell them while we're here? Dagger, short bow. Might need that bow, so we'll save that. Not sure when we'll find another shop, so it's probably good to get rid of the things we don't need. All right. What are you doing? That's private. What are you hiding? I don't see how that is any of your concern. Very well. Guess it is his house, although I am deathly curious. Let's explore a little bit more. Is there anywhere else in the village? Maybe not. It's over here. Shall be done. Oh, this is not more the village, but really it's just another exit to the world map. All right, so we could go up here, I guess. Um, I feel like you know most people probably make it their business over there. I'm going to try the other way and see, because I don't remember what happens if you just run up here. We can always come back down later on. Let's see what he's hiding. Lots of death root. You hear that? There's people in the Chantry. The whole town, maybe. Would explain where almost everybody is. And that kid did say that most people were meeting here. What's inside? Beyond measure. We are chosen by the holy and beloved to be her guardians. This sacred duty is given to us alone. Rejoice, my brethren, and prepare your hearts to receive her. Lift up your voices and despair not, for she will raise her faithful servants to glory when her... I understand that you are new here. But common courtesy dictates that one shouldn't interrupt. No matter. I just we were just in. about done here anyway. But your reverence, we have not completed the sacraments of the Holy Mother or, or, or sung the invocation. Be calm, Nodda. We have an honored guest. Surely the sacraments can wait. That is all for today, my children. I shall see you tomorrow. For now, I should see to our visitor. He looks a little like my character if he aged about 40 years and did not age well. Um, there was no need to end the sermon. It is better this way. Many of the villagers are uncomfortable in the presence of strangers. Is there a Brother Janetivi here? We find outsiders disruptive. They bring others. And before long, Haven is changed. We will go to any lengths to prevent that. You understand a man's need to protect his family, don't you? Brothers, you know what must be done. More energy. Uh huh. Well, that didn't last very long. Oops. Ahead. Put a spell on him. I'm actually going to use. Ooh, Mana Clash. I always forget we have it. Is it going to drain me as well? I don't know. Whoa, that did a ton of damage to him. That was cool. Yeah, those guys weren't the finest fighting force I've I've Very encountered. Well.
occultist medallion bearing the symbol of Andraste. There's a brick wall over there. We'll go there in a second. There's a chest. Ring of Faith, what was that? Uh, fire damage, huh. Cool. And Allow me. I could do that for you. Thought that key might I open shall. it. We didn't find a key, did we? Never mind. It was a medallion. There's a guard. On my way. Let's do a quick save. There's a wall here. Uh oh. Brother Jan TV. Who are you? Oh, he's alive. That's right. They've sent you to finish it. I this entire time I'm thinking he was dead. I forgot you actually find him alive. See, it's funny how you can remember some parts of a quest and not remember other parts. Um, Brother Janet TV. Yo, you're not one of them. Thank the Maker. <laughs> I kind of look like one of them though. Um, did you find the urn? Did I fall to my knees in front of it and weep? No. Did I discover its location? Yes. Haven lies in the shadow of the mountain that holds the urn. There is an old temple there built to protect it. The door is always locked, but I know what that key is. Irik wears a medallion that opens the temple door. I've seen what he does with it. This medallion? Yes, that is your key. Take me to the mountainside and I will show you. Um... Could you some, answer some questions for me first? All right. What is on your mind? Uh, do you know about the knights who were sent to look after you? Were sent to look for you? <sighs> yes, of course. How could I forget? Irik said they were ambushed, some killed, a few brought back to Haven to be questioned. He was so self-righteous about it, so smug. He seemed pleased that he had tortured and murdered these men. Oh, so that explains the disappearing knights. And I guess the villagers of Haven also sent those people who, uh, like the decoy assistant in his house and the people who tried to ambush us at Lake Kalanhad. It does seem weird at first that he's a brother of the church and he's actually part of the church, but I guess not because only women can be priests, but just like women can be nuns in the real world, men can be part of the church, just only as lay brothers. They can't be elevated to priest or above, um, at least not in the Androsti enchantry. Um, Irik's not going to be bothering anyone else for a while. Good. Irik and his fellows were a blemish in the Maker's sight. If the Maker would even deign to look upon this world, that is. Let's just talk about something else now, shall we? Uh, Haven, it's a little odd, isn't it? <laughs> well, it wasn't exactly what I expected it to be. Why does Haven have revered fathers? do not know. When the Chantry was established, it was decided that only female priests would ever be ordained. It is possible that the villagers, the disciples of Andraste, predate the Chantry and so have no knowledge of the Chantry's rules. What do you know about Haven and its people? They call themselves the disciples of Andraste. They are very, very devoted. One could say fanatically so. They must be here to protect the urn, but they speak of Andraste as though... as though she were still alive. Is that possible? I'm old enough to know that anything is possible, child. Or was there something else you wanted to discuss? Mm. Um, what were the villagers doing with you? They seemed intent on finding out personal information about me, where I grew up, things like that. I think they were planning to place a fake Janet TV in Denerim. How do you know? There was an imposter Waylon at your house. An imposter? What happened to the real Waylon? I can pursue him. I'm sorry, but he's dead. Oh, poor Waylon. I should never have dragged you into this. Make us take you into his hands, my boy. I'm sorry, brother. He believed in me. Even when I lost faith in myself. I will honor his memory. Was there... Was there uh, something else you wanted to say? Um... I don't think he'll actually return to dinner if you ask him to. So I'm not going to. Just in case he does, I'd rather have him here. Uh, any more questions All I can right. ask him? 
What is on your mind? The ashes will cure will cure Arl Eamon, won't they? Cure Arl Eamon? Is the Arl sick? What happened? He was poisoned on Loghain's orders. Loghain? Why? Oh, he doesn't know. Oh, I have been so occupied with the urn. I've missed so much. I certainly hope the ashes will save him. He's been up here the entire time. The legends speak of their miraculous powers. There are many stories of pilgrims being healed, the blind seeing, and the lame dancing in joy. Perhaps it is Andraste that does this. Perhaps it is belief itself. By believing the ashes are magical, you make them so. It's interesting philosophy for a priest, but uh, how, how many ashes ashes are there? Like you, there, it's a finite amount, so um, I suppose that's possible. Anyway, that can be discussed once we actually have the ashes, and the Arl is better. That's enough talk for so now. Run along and get that medallion then. Um, I'll be back soon. All right, I will come back and talk to him. But before I do, oh, a chest. I want to explore a little bit. Because uh, if these guys attacked me, I feel like they won't be the only ones. It's a nice little chantry, though, up in the mountains. Anything over here? Nope, just little nooks and studies. Okay. Wow, does it... Whoop. Yep, knew it. There are some guards. Cultist Reavers. Huh. So these disciples are some kind of cults. Down you go. So being in that little room at the front there actually reminded me of a whole area of the game I forgot existed. Wow. Or a whole section of the plot. It's funny the things that you just don't remember until they suddenly come back to you. That was easy. And yeah, now in place of villagers, there's a bunch of cultist warriors here. We had a uh, we got Alistair his armor equipped because otherwise this would be very awkward. Oh, a mage, a father, I guess. Alistair, watch out, you have a curse on you. Let's see what loot they have. Um, yeah, if you want anything from that storekeeper, a bit of advice, buy it the first time you talk to him, because, uh, surprise, he won't be that friendly once we go in there. Oh, he's gone, okay. Or that. Now you can go in the back. And find a corpse. The armor and clothing left on his remembered man indicates that he was from Redcliffe, one of all Eamon's knights. Uh huh. I, See, I, th I thought it was Shantivi back here when I was about to go back here the first time. I didn't remember how it actually turned out. That's some way you can discover what happened and have the villagers attack you. The other way is to go up to the chantry and uh, talk to the father, it seems. Can't go in that house. Nothing over there. By the looks of it, little pumpkin patch. Is there a? I thought there was like a cemetery here somewhere. Or am I thinking of something else? A different game even. But I thought there was. Hmm, let's see. We'll keep exploring. Keep an eye out. Yep, more villagers. Sure, they're used to the cold, but it's not even worth casting a blizzard on them, really. They die so easily. I almost feel bad. Almost. Blizzard probably wasn't worth it. As you say. Just 
some more coins. Anything else down by the water? Nope, guess not. Little boat there, though. Was that always there? Probably. Not sure what else it could mean. Yeah. If it wasn't for all the uh, mad cultists, this would be kind of a nice place. Can't be too many left, though. Maybe that guard at the front. Some ox. Let's head in here. I guess we've already we've already seen what's going to be in here, though. Yeah, just that altar again. Okay, never mind. At least the loading screen here is very brief. Um, I could swear there was a hidden cemetery, though. That's the way out. Maybe it's around this corner here. I see a little path on the map. No, not there. Around here, maybe? Aha, there it is. I see it. Although, can you see it? Can you get to it now? Or. It's quite possible you can only get to it maybe after you did this whole quest. Maybe they get rid of this fence or something. Not really sure. But I do remember that being a bit of like an Easter egg. So we'll head back there after we do the actual quest. For now, let's head back to uh, back to the Chantry and talk to Brother Dan TV once again. Up the hill we go. There's Andraste's symbol, the blazing sun. So they are worshippers of Andraste, but fanatical ones. Perhaps even ancient ones, if the brother is correct. All right, are you well enough to walk? Ah, you're back. Well, is this thing dying you were talking about? Yes, that is your key. Take me to the mountainside, and I will show you. I wonder if there's a way to uh, talk to the brother before you kill. The, the father. I'm not really sure. Um, are you sure you can make the journey? It is not that far, and will you let me lean on you? For the urn, any pain is worth enduring. Um, Alright, let's leave now. Ah, good. Help me up here. Uh, uh, I'll try not to slow us down. All right, and here we are, higher up the mountain in the ruins of and or the ruins of the temple of Andraste, where the urns supposedly are hidden. But we are going to end the episode here, and uh, continue our journey when we come back.